Hey guys, it's Nanique. Today I'm going to do episode two of that coffee cake whiskey thing that I made. And I definitely do not want to follow somebody's recipe and this is why I am, I'm experimenting on my own. I do want to understand how these things come together and react to one another so that I can apply that into inventing new things instead of just constantly finding myself having to follow somebody else's recipe. So that's why we're testing and that's why we're failing sometimes and that's okay. So I'm going to make my coffee much stronger. I couldn't taste the coffee too much in there. So this is going to be more like a four shots of espresso. The last cake that I did, um, as I mentioned, it was dense. It would have been great as uh, lady fingers, as somebody mentioned uh, to me. Uh, it could be great as a dip. Um, so I'm not completely writing off that. It, it could have a use for something different other than a cake to be eaten by itself on its own without uh, something soft accompanying it. So it was a bit to the dry side. Uh, and I also overcooked it. So this time we'll make sure I don't overcook it. I have let my banana ripe quite a bit and I'm excited to use this today. And then I'll put some honey. I have the coffee going. And I'm also thinking to try, the, when I do the egg whites, I'm gonna try the folding style. I'm a little nervous, because obviously I know what happens with the souffle. I'm trying to get a little bit more spongy, or, or at least pound cake. I don't like spongy too much, but more like a pound cake type of texture would be really nice. So a few things we have here is I have uh, one cup of gluten-free flour. This is not pressed, it's yeah, just don't press your flour into the cup. And uh, and then I just, you know, did that. So once I find the perfect recipe and it tastes great, then I'll measure and just create the scientific shit for, it for other people to follow. But for now, yeah, I have brought my eggs to room temperature. That's why they're sitting in water, actually. And I have only four eggs here. I wish I had six because I was experimenting with six egg recipe, but... have five, but I don't want to go there. Four is easier to understand. Okay, so my coffee is ready and what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to pour the honey and coffee in here first because since the coffee is hot, it will be a great time to dilute my honey. That's a lot of honey. This cake will come out sweeter than the last one, but um, that's okay. I'll wait on the whiskey because this is a lot of liquid. The peel looks a lot more ripe than the inside of it. Come on. Why is the inside not brown yet? Damn banana. Last time I pre-mixed the banana in the Nutribullet, but this time I'll see how this comes out. Probably a good time to separate the eggs and have them handy. Separate my yolk from the whites. Mash this banana a little bit first. Ah, that's not good. Neutral bullet was a better idea for sure. I'll put two tablespoons of cocoa powder. I would make my coffee just less liquidy, just like compress as much dark coffee in little amount of water as possible. I should have done that to begin with, but that's not what happened. So now what I'll do is I will add my eggs. I'll let them one at a time. banana reacting with the rest. This is interesting. Okay, so now I am going to add my whiskey and make it less. Uh, I'm gonna add all of the 
Vamos ver se tem. We're back on track. So this looks good to me. See how would I know how what banana? Like I can feel the it's like robbery thing. Like this elasticity that banana seems to bring into the picture. Also going to add baking powder. I'm gonna do it here. 265 degrees. I'm gonna go very slow this time. Chef monkey. I'm not a chef, I'm just monkeying around in the kitchen hoping to come up with something. Interesting. Very to fail so you just really didn't explore and just you stuck to the recipe precisely the only I know I know many times I'm sure many times I've done it before so this is what I'm good for <laughs> I can experiment and just make mistakes and then and then you can see that progress and if you see a mistake you really like then you can repeat it I really hope this works out I mean, think about how awesome it's going to be once I do succeed with this recipe. I mean, think about it. It has no sugar. It has no butter, even. It, it really doesn't have much of bad things. It just has one cup of flour, which is a starch, but that's fine. Like, imagine the possibilities. Now I just need to succeed. But since I've started, I have to succeed. Like, I have to keep going. I have to keep going until I make this happen. <sighs> this banana thing is gonna happen. <laughs> All right, let's wait. Nervous. It's been 40 minutes. Do I have a match to test this? It needs a little more. It needs more. It sticks. I keep forgetting to buy mint, and I use mint so much. This thing is just, it's just not in a good shape. I guess enough for the picture. Okay, some sad looking mint here. I think just a few more minutes and we'll be ready. With a bunch of poked holes on my cake. I shouldn't toss these because I can still use the mat. Oh, by the way, did you notice how the yellow light went away? I'm learning, I'm learning. There's a little bit. Huh. Hmm. If I take it out, the heat will continue cooking it a little more, right? What do you think? There's barely any on it. If I take it out now and leave it there, It'll still cook a little more. I think I might want to pull the trigger now. This is really not a sponge cake, technically. I'm still not Googling. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna cut it. Too soft, I should have waited to cut.
Maybe it's just never gonna rise necessarily. <laughs> so it's kind of like a brownie, <laughs> pretty much. Mm. Oh, oh man, the taste is absolutely amazing. So this is really pleasant. It's not the sponge cake I was going for. I actually like it a lot. tastes really good. It's very interesting, the whiskey and the banana, actually. Mmm. We do heat up brownies to eat because that's how it's best and it's okay if this is how it's supposed I think to be I'm best. Gonna actually, pack this up and take it to my parents' house and see what they think. Mine could be biased because I eat this healthy non-sugary things and I love it but I want to know if man I'm eating too much this is a lot and I haven't even eaten dinner or breakfast or oh hey all right I'm taking it to my parents house warm and papuk so that's good it's not just gluten free it's gluten free it's sugar free drops in the tuna the coffee is inside oh coffee <laughs> all right honest opinion don't just do mm. I want to see if it's any edible so that I can keep working on it <laughs> Mom has a thing with Beze lately. She puts it on just about everything. <laughs> yeah. You well, this is the last Beze Aram And there is only one cake I make. Yeah, but I don't want Beze on my burger. <laughs> <laughs> this is not burger, this is cake. Yeah, but it, well, it's more like a brownie because it's dense, you know, it's not fluffy. Mm. But it's very it's soft, soft. Che. Moist, soft. See? Ooh, I'm getting there. That's your recipe? Yeah, yeah, I'm just making things up. <laughs> right down. Maybe. Do you want to come taste it, Ara? No. No? <laughs> I, I know it's sugarless, but it's really good. chocolate because I'm not a big fan of chocolate. Oh, you don't like the chocolate? I like chocolate. You do? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Mm. Success! There we go. I think. I think this was good, so I'll keep going and then I'm pretty happy with it. Oh yeah, subscribe, share, love.